Have you been waiting for me to share my freezer spell with you? That's coming up right after this. I'm Mel from Mel's Divination. I'm the owner, the operator, and the creator here. And today is Witchy Wednesday. So I am sharing a witchcraft goodie DIY with you. I'm sharing a spell today um, under the request of viewers. And just, I've been thinking about it for a while. Anyway, before I really jump into it, we are a community here at Mel's Divination. Wednesdays we do Witchy Wednesdays with witchcraft, spiritualists, metaphysical, energy, book reviews, all kinds of things, spell work, all the good stuff. On Fridays we do Flip Through Fridays where I share divination decks of all kinds and I've started a new series which is like astro energy tarot reading. Um, that I'm sharing the astrology, I'm sharing the weekly reading, I'm sharing a energy of the upcoming month, and I, I just did a live video, so you may recognize the outfit. Um, you just, I just did a live video for the full moon of Aquarius, and that is something that I just posted, so feel free to check that out. And it's something I might be doing every full moon, I don't know, we'll see how I feel about that. My, I do have a website, melsdivination.com. If you are interested in a reading or a coaching session, please reach out, feel free, and support the channel. All Amazon links are now affiliate links, so anything that I share with you from Amazon is a little bit of extra commission comes to me, but nothing extra out of your pocket. So please, please support the channel when, however you can so that I can continue filming these videos. All right, so today is a freezer spell. Now there's lots, what is a freezer spell? Freezer spell is kind of, there's a, multiple ways to do a freezer spell. There is freezing something so that it gets stuck and it can't move. There's freezing something to send it away. And that really depends on the approach, the intent. Everything is about intention. We've talked about this, please. If you're not sure about how to work with energy, Go back and watch some of my other videos in the, the beginner witchcraft the kind of playlist because you need to be able to visualize, you need to be able to feel, you need to be able to pull up energy through your feet <laughs> to work on this and to charge this, okay? So this is a very basic spell. It's super simple. There's literally only four things that you need to do this spell and mm, five. I guess five. Sorry, Spirit kind of corrected me. And it is, it's very straightforward. The instructions are super, super, super simple. It has really good success rate. I've used this spell on a lot of people. Actually, probably more like 25, now that I'm thinking about it. And it's been successful every time. And I've coached clients to use it, and I get good feedback from them. Where this spell originally came from, it's a combination of different things from a long time ago, long time ago, 2012, I don't know, long time ago, that I was struggling with some stuff and my girlfriend who lives in Maine, who at the time was more spell active than I was, she was doing more baneful magic, and she told me to do a freezer spell. And I just was like, what is that? So I did a lot of research and saw all these different kinds and picked one that I felt suited me best. And it's kind of changed a little bit over the years, but it, it's it, oldie but goodie is really the best way to describe it. Why would you do this spell? Let's start about that. What is the point? What are you? What is the purpose of this spell? The purpose of this spell is to send somebody away. Now, this can be about a neighbor, <laughs> which we've talked about. This can be about a coworker. This can be about maybe a current relationship's ex-lover. It can be a friend. It can be as big as you want to make it. I've literally frozen celebrities for a reason and I'm not going to share who or why, but it worked. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to go into it because I don't want this to turn into a big, a big uh, tell me all about it thing. So we're not going to do that, but I can tell you it works. Okay. All you need, a slip of paper, 
Doesn't even matter what kind. I would get a slip of paper that doesn't have any writing on either side though. It needs to be plain paper. I always usually do it on notebook paper for some reason. I don't know if that is what, like I don't, I have brown paper and I have parchment paper that I do spells on, but for some reason I've just always done it with this and it works. So why mess with it, right? You need a pen, doesn't matter what color, I just happen to have brown. A baggie, a Ziploc baggie, Ziploc. That's important. And you need white vinegar and a freezer, which is why we're doing it in the kitchen. Sorry, birds outside freaking out. Now, why would you do this? First of all, try before you resort to doing something like this before, because this is technically baneful magic to some degree. It's banishing. So why would you do this? Before you take steps, and this is really important for all spells, please, before you do something like this, when you're trying to do magic and spell work, right? Before you do that on a person, because you're trying to send somebody away in this instance, take steps in reality, in the mundane. Try to problem solve. If it's at work, go to HR or go to a manager or something like that. Try to do conflict resolution. Try to do mediation. If it's something like somebody that lives near you that's being horrible, try to talk to them first or maybe talk to their significant other, which is what I did. Try to do other approaches or, or, or positive spell work. Something that's not protection work, which my house is beyond protected. Like it's surrounded by iron <laughs> that I put in. It's surrounded by crystals. It's, it's constantly being cleansed. So I do, all, I do all the stuff. So make sure you're doing the other steps, both mundane and magical, before you resort to something like this. Because this is somewhat, it's not a full blown last resort, but you shouldn't really be doing this unless if you've already tried stuff in real life first. Because as best you can, you know, if. Like when I did it on a celebrity, I didn't know a celebrity, but I, I did what I could on my end. We'll just say a politician. Um, I did what I could on my end to help support the outcome that I was hoping for. When it came to work, when I used to be a teacher, there was a lot of people that I had a, that that gave me, gave me a lot of trouble. And we'll talk about that someday. Um, and I would do, I was doing conflict resolution and mediation and all sorts of things and cleansing the classroom and. All, all the mundane stuff and then a little bit of supportive, protective, magical stuff and even that didn't work. So that's when I resorted to this, okay? What's important is intention and visualization on this. So because there's so few ingredients here, the biggest piece is you and what you put out there. Um, I'm just doing a sample one today because as I mentioned on my full moon video, I'm going to do the real one on the night of the full moon because that is some major energy that I want to use. So today is just a sample. So let's say you want, we're going to use the person's name. I'm, I'm just going to do what every influencer that does magic on YouTube that they're sharing is I'm going to use John Doe. All right. So John Doe is awful to me. I've done every Thing on the real world level that I can possibly do to solve this situation or at least compromise and not feel scared, not feel frustrated, not feel major pits of anxiety in my stomach. I've talked to them, I've talked to others, I've done conflict resolution, I've um, blessed them, I've done uncrossing on me, I've done all the stuff that I can do before going this stop, step. So try to keep that in mind. Now, what I would do before I do this spell, and I didn't do it because I'm not doing a real spell, is I would take a shower. Now, you don't always have to take a shower before you do spell work, but if you want to have the clearest mindset and the clearest intention that's in your body, showering your body is very helpful. It's very beneficial. And then meditation. So sitting 10 minutes at least and picturing what is my goal, what is my outcome, and seeing it. So I want... John Doe to leave. I want John Doe to find a new place of work. Let's say it was, a, it was at work. I want John Doe to move on, to go away. And the most important part with this, the key ingredient to this intent when you're doing the work, okay, is that, and I'm going to back the camera up so you can see as I'm doing it in a minute. The key ingredient when you're doing it is that you're not actually, and this is why it's sort of not really baneful magic, because baneful magic is you wish somebody harm. 
you're not wishing harm. You wish that something awesome comes along that moves them on, a better opportunity. So if it's work, it's a better opportunity. If it's where they live, it's another place to live. It's a better place to live. It's an upgrade. You wish them an upgrade or something great so that they leave and it's not, it doesn't backfire. It can't blow up in your face. It can't go wrong. There's no karmic retribution. You're wishing them good. You're sort of blessing them in a backwards way that they can move on. You wish them good things because if you're putting ill intent in here, this can go backwards and it can harm you if they do any kind of magic or they do return to sender spells. So keep in mind when you do any kind of magic like this that it can go backwards and you do want to be careful. All right, that's about all of the setup that I wanted to talk about. So let's get to it. I'm gonna pause this and move the camera so you can. Okay, I'm back. It's a funny angle. It is what it is. Um, my kitchen's a mess so we're gonna do the best thing we can. Now, I didn't cleanse my materials before I started doing this, so I'm gonna do that. I have Palo Santo, actually, I have an air conditioner going, so we'll see, yeah. This is what happens when you're trying to do stuff in the moment. So I have a stick of Palo Santo. You can use sage if you really want it. And I'm just gonna cleanse the paper by pulling it through and over. And like I had mentioned, I showered. I wanted to cleanse the space, right? So you wanna do those things, make sure you're grounded, meditate, and then cleanse your, your... try not to burn, don't burn the bag. <laughs> don't burn the bag if you're smoke cleansing. You can also do sound cleansing. Okay, so that's all I'm doing that I'll let that burn out on its own okay so now we got our paper we set our intention we visualized it we wish John Doe good things what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down where can you see this right here and I'll hold it up John Doe and if you know their birthday you don't have to know their birthday but if you do it can help expand the energy I'm just gonna put January 3rd 1953 whatever I just made up a number so this I know this is gonna be backwards I'm sorry so it's John Doe 1353 so January 3rd 1953 and when you're getting ready so you want to rub your hands rub it in your hands rub this paper in your hands I'm wishing John Doe all the great things I want John Doe to move on to a better job and you just keep like saying it, saying it as many times until you feel like it's time. This is charged, and there's enough time. It's time to stop, you know. So, and make sure that you're using energy from the earth that you're pulling up, not something that's coming from you, because you'll exhaust yourself. I want John Doe to feel great things, to move forward. I wish him wonderful things. I wish him to find the job that he deserves and moves forward. You can say deserves, but. You want them to move on. I want them to be happy. I want them to move on. I want them to move on. All right? However many times. Nine times, seven times, three times, whatever fits for you. Put it in the bag. That's it. You're done. I wish John Doe great things. And continue to keep that in your mindset while you're doing it. You don't have to say it out loud. I'm just saying it out loud for you so you can hear the process. And then you take white vinegar. That's it. I wish John Doe great things. I want him to move on. You don't need a whole gallon. I just clean with it a lot. So, And then be careful how you hold it, but I fill this up most of the way. Because as you can see, the paper is floating and you want the paper to be in the, wa in the vinegar. And then you seal it up. I wish John Doe great things. I want him to move on to find something better and move on away from me. And then I lay it flat like this. And all I do is plop it in my freezer. That's it. So that's all I do. I use vinegar, I use a piece of paper, and I leave it. That's the other thing. So you're probably like, Mel, what do I do with it? How long do I leave it in there? Now, some of you are not gonna be able to do this spell. If you have people that are gonna play with it in the freezer, if you have, if you live with somebody that you can't 
just put something, some random thing with a name in the freezer, you're not going to be able to do the spell. You have to keep it frozen, period, exclamation point. It has to remain frozen. How long? Until you reach the result you're hoping for. So until John Doe moves to a new job, the longest I've seen it take is six months. That's the longest I've seen it take. Often it's fast. So, or within a few weeks. So make sure that you are patient, you believe in yourself and in your magic, you're grounded and centered in visualizing and feeling, and your stuff stays in the dang freezer. Because the point is, you're freezing this person so they're uncomfortable and, they ha and it's in vinegar because vinegar is acid. It's not comfortable. You want it to go away. Vinegar is very cleansing and clearing. So you want this person to be uncomfortable and you want them to leave. But don't, don't say you want them to be uncomfortable. Just say you want them to, you hope they find a new job or whatever it is you're doing. They find a great house. So that is the big thing. Now, end result, leave it in the freezer until it happens, until John gives his notice and is actually gone. Not, oh, he gave his notice. No, until he's actually gone. You could even wait a little bit longer after he's left. You can wait as long as you want, honestly. But wait until this occurs, until this person is gone and you're sure they're gone. What I can tell you is leaving it in there longer isn't going to hurt anything because I've done it. It doesn't hurt anything. But taking it out too soon will, will stop the spell work. It won't. So if you defrost this, too early it's going to it's going to mess it up so John Doe goes he's totally gone there's no sign of him returning you take it out of the freezer you defrost it and the way that I have always done it and I don't know if other people do it differently honestly I'm I, I can't tell you you dump the vinegar down the drain and you take the slip of paper which likely will no longer have pen on it a lot of times the acid from the vinegar washes the pen away. That's fine, doesn't matter. The intention is done. What, it, what, what you needed it to do is done. So you take the piece of paper, you let it dry, and then you burn it outside. And then you scatter the, you flush the ashes down the toilet or you scatter, there's usually, so, it's such a little strip of paper, there's not much ashes. So you can scatter it, not on your property or flush it down the toilet. And that is how it's done. I have done this on, like I said, politicians. I've done this on boyfriends, ex-girlfriends. I've done this on at least 25 people I worked with. Now, when I did it on the people, I, I did it for different situations. I did it, one, I wanted somebody to move on, but a huge crew of people had a hand in me leaving teaching and I just wanted them to stay away from me um, once I left. I wanted, I wanted peace of mind. I wanted protection from them. I wanted them to stay away. I didn't want them to come back or cause any drama or any of that. Like I just wanted them gone from my life um, when I finally had like, I'm done. I'm not teaching anymore. So I froze a lot of people because I didn't know who I could trust and who I couldn't trust. It wasn't clear. And that way, just to play it safe, I just was like, clean slate, want them all gone. They're all out of my life. They're all gone. And that's what I did. And nobody ever came back. I waited. I think I left, and that was a lot to have in my freezer. Um, I think I left that in there for maybe six months until I was really comfortable with sh being sure that nothing was going to rebound back into my life. Or I may have because they settled, I had a settlement and I got paid until the end of that school year because I would have won a lawsuit. We'll talk about it another time. I probably kept the stuff frozen until after my pay ran out so that nobody could come back to like, okay, it's fine, officially done. Like my agreement with the school department, it's done nobody's gonna come back and try to contact me it's over and that was probably when I defrosted everything and threw it all away and burned it all so that's that's that spell and there again there's a lot of alternatives out there you may have heard of one you may have tried one that works great for you and there's definitely ones out there that like I know of a friendship souring spell or an uncomfortable spell where they recommend that you you freeze it so that they're stuck 
and they can't get away from each other. So there's definitely a bunch of options to work. There's a lot of room to work with this. I've heard of people freezing problems. Oh, I have a problem. I'm, you know, I'm, I don't know. I, I have to fix this or something. So let me throw it in the freezer for now. But they, I believe they use water. Like they freeze it so that they'll come back to it later. I'll come back and deal with this when I'm ready to deal with this. So there's def definitely different approaches. This is just one spell. Freezing my freezer spell to send somebody away. I hope that helps you. Use it wisely. One of the reasons why I haven't been sharing spell work is because I don't want you guys to run out and just start throwing people in freezers and you haven't protected yourself, you haven't visualized, you haven't grounded yourself, and you don't know what the hell you're doing. Be smart about it, please. <laughs> Please don't make me regret doing this, this video for you. Be smart about it. I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.